Call Sue Kedgley. Uh, yes, um, thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Green Party uh, will be um, opposing this bill, and we do so because we're concerned that, on the one hand, we are reducing staff and funding in biosecurity, so we've got rid of 55 staff and chopped off a couple of million from the frontline budget on biosecurity. On the other hand, we are reducing biosecurity protections, uh, particularly to uh, industries, and I'm going to illustrate it by focusing on the pig industry and the bee industry. So we're reducing our budget, we're reducing our staff, we're reducing our biosecurity protections, and then we're turning around and saying to the industries, oh, by the way, you're going to have to pay, if there is an incursion, you're going to have to pay 50 per cent of the costs. And uh, you know, what, will happen, what will happen if uh, there is an incursion which occurs, which occurs because, uh, because of a policy which one of these industries has completely opposed, and nevertheless they are going to be required uh, to pick up 50% uh, of the costs. So I, and one of the reasons that we, so I want to illustrate with, specifically with the pork industry and the honey industry, or the, the bee industry, uh, because both of these industries are at war with the MAF and with the government. And it is ironic, to say the least, that we have a department, namely MAF, which is supposed to be protecting our primary producing industries. And yet two of these industries are at war with MAF because of MAF's failure, uh, they believe, to protect them, to protect their industries uh, from biosecurity risks. And the Pork Industry Board has spent now, it's, and it's up to a million dollars fighting MAF. They're going into the High Court, I think it's on the 25th of August, because they are opposing MAF because it is insisting on lowering the biosecurity standards. So what it is what it is doing, it is now going to allow uh, raw pork uh, into New Zealand uh, from countries which have this devastating pig disease called, uh, referred to as pig AIDS, uh, and uh, they, they're going to allow them uh, to raw pig meat to be coming from those countries, whereas previously uh, the, this meat was not allowed uh, because it had, well, it had to be treated to inactivate the virus. Now, why would the government be doing something as foolish as allowing pig meat in raw pig meat in from countries where a which have a devastating virus if the industry and a whole lot of experts are saying this could bring in a devastating pig disease into New Zealand or indeed why would uh, the government be saying to uh, would be agreeing to bring in honey from Australia when honey from when the Australians harbour uh, diseases which could devastate our bee industry, why would they be doing that? So, well, the answer I've discovered is by looking at the import health standard, which is the one that is being lowered, uh, with respect uh, to pig meat, and what it basically explains the reason that we're doing this is free trade and because of our obligations on the World Trade Organization. So what it says is that we are required under the World Trade Agreement, Article 5 of the uh, SPS, the uh, Sanitary and Photosanitary Agreement, we are required to take not to have any more trade restrictive measures than are required to achieve, quote, an appropriate level of protection. And this phrase, an appropriate level of protection, has become the new definition of biosecurity at our borders. And when you look at the rest of the statement, you see that MAF has done all of this. It's lowering the import standards because it believes that uh, this will achieve an appropriate level of protection from the introduction of PRRS, the devastating pig disease. So what it's basically saying is we're going to lower our standards uh, to meet our WTO obligations, never mind that some of the experts in the industry, uh, such as, uh, for example, uh, Professor Roger Morris, says that if we do this, 
there is, he believes, inevitable that within uh, three to five years we will have an incursion of this PRRS disease. MAF says, oh, it, we think it will only happen once in every 1,200 years, but our local experts are saying it would happen uh, in every three to five years. Uh, and I could go into all the details about why the MAF uh, analysis seems to be completely flawed, but my point is, if uh, what the pig industry is warning, that this pig disease comes into uh, New Zealand, will the pig industry then be expected to pay for 50 per cent of the costs of having to deal with this devastating disease, which it has vehemently opposed in the courts uh, for, for many years now. It has opposed the lowering of these standards by the government. The government has pig-headedly uh, gone ahead, ignored uh, all of their concerns, and is doing it for the, uh, for the uh, WTO because of our obsession with uh, these free trade agreements. In comes the disease, and then they, the industry is expected to share the costs under this bill. It is completely and utterly unacceptable. Similarly, if we look at the uh, uh, the bee industry, uh, they uh, they they believe that there is a very serious risk of uh, diseases coming in if we allow Australian honey to be imported into New Zealand. Once again, they have been vehemently opposing the government, uh, begging the government not to lower the biosecurity standards to allow uh, Australian honey to be imported. The government is ignoring their concerns, going ahead with it, and then what happens if one of these diseases comes in, uh, which would devastate our bee industry? One of the diseases uh, would mean that we would have to be uh, treating our bees in New Zealand with antibiotics. We are one of the countries in the world which doesn't have to treat our bees with antibiotics. It's one of our points uh, that uh, one of our points of difference. It's one of the reasons we attract premium prices around the world. But the government is lowering this biosecurity standard, putting uh, our bee industry at risk, uh, and it may require, if if, um, if the bee industry's fears are realised, it may require into infinity our bees to have to be treated with antibiotics. What a disaster, as well as being treated uh, by uh, miticides and pesticides. So it, to us, this is completely a foolhardy. We lower the biosecurity risks uh, because we've now got this new definition of what a biosecurity risk is. It's simply, um, we basically, anything that provides an appropriate level of protection. So we're no longer trying to keep these diseases out. We're just trying to provide an appropriate level of protection. Then we lower the numbers of staff. We lower the budget for biosecurity. Uh, we lower our standards and then we turn around and say to the industries, well, hey, you're going to have to pick them up. And it's the industries that will have to foot the bill. It's not the uh, import. So we, we, we have already at the moment, we have 40, anywhere from 45 to 50 per cent of pork being imported into New Zealand. But if we get an incursion of PRRS, of this devastating pig disease, it won't be the importers who are having to pay uh, for this disease, which will effectively, or could devastate and indeed wipe out our pig industry. It will be uh, the New Zealand pig uh, pork producers. The $700 million pork industry will uh, be put at risk uh, by this, uh, this absurd decision to lower these biosecurity standards. Similarly, the honey industry will be put at risk uh, by lowering the biosecurity standards, and yet, against all of their advice, uh, if, the, if the pests, if these diseases come in, they will then have to turn around and pick up the bill. This is complete madness. I can't understand why the government uh, would be doing this, and the Green Party is uh, completely opposed to it. Thank you.